Welcome to NSG 311 Study Session 3 Family Theories. Introduction Look around you. You will find out that some of the people you meet every day come from different families. Your family serves as a starting point for teaching and learning. From birth, your parents taught you how to speak, eat, dress, and you learned other values from your community. In this study, you will learn about different concepts under family, the implication of the family on community health nursing, functions and structure of the family, family theories of nursing and family assessment. Learning Outcomes for Study Session 3 At the end of the study session, you should be able to 1. Explain the concept under family. 2. Analyze the implication of the family on community health nursing. 3. Highlight the functions and structures of the family. 4. Describe the various theories applicable to family nursing. 5. Explore the concepts of family assessment. 3.1. The concepts of a family. The family has long take two. The family has long been regarded as the basic unit of the society. Community health nurses seek to empower families by building mutual partnerships that help to protect and promote the health and the well-being of members of the family unit. It is also to equip the family about health strategies that seek to inform and empower families to make informed decisions about their health and well-being. Definition of family. The traditional definition of family is a legal, lifelong, sexually exclusive marriage between one man and one woman with children, where the male is the primary provider and the ultimate authority. Critiquing traditional definition of the family. In critiquing the traditional definition of a family, the following terms have been challenged. 1. Legal. 2. Lifelong. 3. Sexually exclusive between one man and one woman. 4. Male being the primary provider and ultimate authority. 5. Children involvement. The World Health Organization's Acceptable defines family as a self-identified group of two or more individuals whose association is characterized by special terms who may or may not be related by blood deadness or law, but who function in a way that they consider themselves to be a family. A family refers to two or more individuals who depend on one another, who choose to be involved in each other's lives and are therefore bound together by emotional ties and a sense of belonging for emotional, physical and or financial support. Types of families. Let's remind ourselves of the various definitions, roles, functions and values of families. One, traditional, or nuclear family, extended family, family of origin, family of procreation, blended bionuclear family. One, traditional or nuclear family, a social unit composed of a father and a mother joined together in matrimony and their biological children or offsprings, natural adopted or both. Two, extended family. A family that extends beyond the nuclear family, consisting of grandparents, aunts, uncles, and cousins all living nearby 
or in the same household. An example is a married couple that lives with either the husband or the wife's parents. Three, family of origin or orientation. The family into which an individual is born. Four, family of procreation. The family created for the purpose of raising children. Five, blended by a nuclear family. The combination of two divorced families through remarriage. We now have single parent families, step parent families, same gender families, families of need, voluntary family, and families consisting of friends. Advancement in reproductive technology has given rise to surrogate motherhood. When a woman for someone other than herself carries a child conceived from an egg which was not her own, e.g. in gayism or lesbianism. Staples, 1989, predicted that in the next 25 years, A. Sexual relations will precede marriage. B. People will have a trial period of cohabitation before entering into marriage, and marriages will be delayed to late 20s or 30s. C. The divorce rate will continue to increase. D. Remarriage will occur more slowly. E. Couples will limit their families to one or two children. F. Draw wage, Anna, take two. F. Draw wage, Anna family will be the norm in all households. 3.2. Implication of the family on community health nursing. Every society and the world at large go through changes. Human relationships often evolve in different shape and form to meet up with changes in the environment. The family as a unit of the society has evolved into different compositions of people. Therefore, opinions differ from place to place, people to people, on the definition of family. A family is what anyone says it is, that is, there is no hard and fast rule to hit. Avoid putting your biases to such areas as the definition of family is subjective. Community health nurses working with families should communicate and include all family members in health care planning. 3.2.1 Perspectives of viewing the family Community health nurses views the family from three perspectives. One, as a context. Two, as a client. Three, as a component of society. One, as a context. In this context, the emphasis of care is the individual bearing in mind that he or she is a part of a larger system, the family mostly used in other specialty areas of nursing, e.g., how has the client's diagnosis of insulin-dependent diabetes affected the family? Two, as a client, when the family is seen as a whole rather than the individuals, the family is viewed as a set of interacting parts and emphasizes assessment of the dynamics among these parts rather than the individual's parts. It looks at the family as an interactional system. E.g., how is the family reacting to the mother's recent diagnosis of liver cancer? Three, as a component of society. The family is seen as one of the many institutions of the society, along with health, education, religious and financial institutions to receive, exchange, or give services. Family functions and structure. Throughout history, a number of functions have been performed by the family. 
This refers to how families go about meeting the purposes of the broader society. Family functions. Family functions are basically divided into two. One, instrumental functions, those that pertain to activities of daily living. Two, expression functions, those that have to do with the affective or emotional dimension of the family. The functions include one, socialization and social placement. The parents are the major agents of socialization, which involves inculcating the norms and values for the many family roles that are required of the family members. The family is responsible for transforming the infant into a social being who can assume adult social roles. Although this role is shared with many institutions outside the family, e.g. the school, churches, mosques, health and human service agencies. Two, reproductive function. The continuity of both the family and the society continues to be ensured through this function. Though thwarted by the various emerging trends discussed about earlier, this function is being achieved through adoption, artificial insemination, or other technological means that may or may not include a second parent. 3. Economic function. Achievement of economic survival is now done through many means as against what operated in the past. Children were expected to contribute towards this. Fathers were expected to bring in money while the mother stays at home to take care of the children. ETC. 3.3.2 Family structure. This refers to the characteristics and demographics, e.g., age, sex, number of individual members who make up family units. More specifically, it defines the roles, responsibilities, and the positions of family members. There is no typical model of family structure. The family structure changes and modifies over time. The same individual may participate in a number of family life experiences over time. The family theories. A number of theories in nursing and social sciences give insight into family dynamics and family processes. Nursing theories. A. Newman system model. Newman system model has family system approach as its foundation. This model opines that A. The way family members express themselves influences the whole and creates the basic structure of the family. B. All transactions take place within the structure and are directed toward keeping the structure stable as it moves between stability, wellness, and instability, illness. The major goal of the nurse using this theory is to help stabilize the family system within its environment. Newman system model format. Evaluation, implementation, planning, goal, nursing diagnosis, assessment. B. Rose adaptation model. Rowe believes that the family can be a unit of analysis and the adaptive system that is assessed. Enhancement or modification of the focal stimuli factors precipitating an adapting response. Contextual stimuli, all other factors that contribute to the behaviors, and residual stimuli, factors that may affect behavior for which effects are not validated, promote adaptation of the family system. Rose Adaptation Model Person Open System Environmental Stimuli Focal Contextual 
residual, adaptation level, integrated, compensatory or compromised, nursing, health. The nurse using this theory assesses the family coping skills and the environmental context within which the family faces the stressor and uses this data to facilitate a positive adaptation to the changes engendered by the crisis. C. Rogas Life Process Model Rogas describes the family as an irreducible family energy field. She believes that individuals within the family generate energy and the energy generated by family dynamics influences all members, that is, family members can learn from one another in ways that are unique and beneficial to the family members. D. King's Open System Model Imogen King views the family as both a context and as a client. She believes that nurses are partners in health care with families and respect clients' families' decisions. The theory opines that family nursing consists of helping individuals to reach goals through improved interaction and communication. She speaks out that mutual goal setting requires decision making between the nurse and the family as individuals or as a whole. She assumes that the client has the right to self-determination. It frees the nurse to provide education, instructional support, resourcing and referrals that are truly going to make a big difference to the client family's lives. It is one that encourages active client participation by empowering them to make informed decisions regarding their individual lives and the health of the entire family. The nurse simply develops a healthy relationship with the family, identifies actual or potential problems, and provides adequate information and mutually sets realistic goals for short-term or long-term resolution of the identified problems. Social science theories. These theories are important to understand because they give direction to nursing care of families. 1. Developmental theory. It is also known as the life cycle approach. It purports that families evolve through typical developmental stages and experience growth and development much in the same way as individuals. Each stage is characterized by specific issues and tasks. The ways in which the tasks are resolved help determine the family's capability for handling the challenges of the next stage. Developmental tasks are works that must be completed at each stage of development before movement to the next stage is possible. This approach is useful in that it helps the nurse in planning the health care that is family oriented and appropriate to the family stage of development. The degree to which developmental tasks are successfully resolved by the family affects the functional and dysfunctional aspects of family life. Adoption Adoption is another aspect of family development having certain phases, tax, and emotional issues that must be addressed. Birth parents, adoptive parents, and adoptees each have their own developmental tax. However, this model has limited value because it purports a two-parent nuclear family and begins with marriage. It maintains that the nuclear family is the norm and that most young adults marry in their early 20s before developing a career of their own and child-rearing activities. 
One, bad parent. Must make a decision to give up the child, prepare for the adoption, relinquish the child for adoption, resume their lives afterwards, and mourn the loss of the child. May later decide to search for the child or make themselves available to be found by the child, or finally accept the loss with peace. 2. Adoptive parents. First make a decision to adopt and go through the process of adoption. Receive the child and accept the new member into the family. Deal with adoptive issues throughout life. Link up with biological parents or not. 3. Adoptee. Separation from biological parents. Bound with adoptive parents. Decide whether to seek out their biological parents or not. Disclosure of adoptive status to family of procreation or not. ETC. The major strength of this approach is that it provides a basis for forecasting what a family will be experiencing at any period in the family life cycle. 2. Structural Functional Conceptual Framework Family structure refers to family organization, arrangement of family units, and the relationship of family units to one another. There are three main dimensions of family structure. One, internal family structure, family composition, gender, rank, and order. Two, external family structure, extended family and larger systems. Three, contextual family structure, ethnicity, race, social class, religion and environment. This theory looks at the arrangement of members within the families, relationship between the members, and the roles and relationships of the individual members to the whole family. Emphasis is placed on how the societal structure supports the basic functions of the families, or vice versa. This approach describes the family as open to outside influences, yet at the same time, the family maintains its boundaries. Nurses refer to this model when they talk about the structure, forms, or type of family, such as single parent families, step families, nuclear families, or extended families. It is a useful framework for assessing families and health. Illness of a family member results in alteration of the family structure and function. E.g., if a single mother is ill, she may not be able to carry out her various roles, so grandparents or siblings may have to assume child care responsibilities. Family assessments will include determining if changes resulting from health issues influence the family's ability to carry out its functions. Family power structures and communication patterns are affected by the illness of a parent. Three, general system theory. Systems depend on both positive and negative feedback to maintain a state of homeostasis, steady state, the theory is also called cybernetics. The theory is useful in family assessment because it emphasizes the interdependence of the family parts and asserts that whatever affects the family as a whole affects each of its parts. The theory also explains the way a member relates with other members of the family and with the society. Echo map.